Hi everyone, welcome to Intuitive Queen Tarot. Um, I am Ashley Cole, a psychic empath, intuitive reader, and spiritual and emotional wellness life coach. Um, I kind of wanted to do things a little bit differently today. Uh, Spirit guided me to create three of my own tarot decks, which I plan to print in the very near future. But I wanted to uh, share them, like a bit of them with you today. Obviously, I'll still be using the Psychic Tarot deck and my Light Seers deck, but I'm going to follow up and get some clarity with the Love Tarot that I made, Messages from Spirit, and Karmic Tarot. So let me just clear the energy on my tarot cards and then we'll get started, okay? Um, by the way, happy Sunday. I hope you're all having a blessed day, getting some much needed rest. I was able to get some rest this weekend and I am fully rejuvenated and ready for the week. I'm really excited about some new projects I got going and I'm, I'm excited to share them with you all. But just want to get a few more things done and I will be sharing these new projects with you. So let me get started. I'm, of course, I'm going to use my psychic tarot deck to, uh, for the bottom of the deck as usual. Spirit, ancestors, guides, if you would help me to provide a reading for the collective at this time. Thank you. Oh, bottom of the deck. Four, this is the Four of Wands in the Light Series, but it is Foundation and Achievement, which um, it could be Family, Marriage, Stability. So this is our bottom of the deck. I'll sit this right over here so you all can see it. Um, and I'll grab a few cards from this deck. Spirit, if you'll please give me any messages you have for the collective at this time. Please give me any messages you have for the collective. Thank you. 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 Okay, let's get this over here. We have the tower. Make sure you can see. We have the tower, which is disruption in this deck. Okay. We have mental conflict, which is like the two of swords. We have new beginnings. We have spiritual strength. And then we have the strength card. Okay. I'm going to get a few clarifiers with my light spheres deck. Spirit, if you give me some clarifiers for this mental conflict, please. Can you give me some clarifiers you have for this mental conflict, please? you have for the mental conflict Ooh. Ooh, these got my cards are getting sticky, y'all. This is this is cookie good, they said. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Spirit has to say. Goodness. Make a conflict. Make a conflict. think I tried to do anything. This is the justice card here. And then we have ooh, karma and two of wands. Okay, so here we have judgment in reverse and two of wands in reverse to clarify. So 
So let me just go from the beginning so you can see what's going on. I clarified, I clarified um, the four of wands here, this foundation card, and a lot fell out. <laughs> okay, so the six of swords, five of cups, justice, two of wands, and judgments. So I'm gonna make sure you see those, okay? And then I clarified this tower card, and I got the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Moon in reverse. Okay, and then I got Mental Conflict clarified with Page of Swords and Three of Pentacles. Okay, and then we know the bottom of the deck was what I clarified because I wanted to be nosy. <laughs> the four of wands, it could be multiple things, but now we know what it is. So let me just get into this reading for you and then I'll use my decks to see if we have anything juicy going on, okay? So first of all, what I'm seeing is you are embarking on a new journey, but this new journey came at a cost, okay? Because I see here we, you had to have a lot of strength. You had to have physical strength and spiritual strength to break through some things. If you have mental conflict here, like you had to make a choice about a marriage or some type of partnership. And it looks like um, someone may have been possibly watching you online, um, researching you, and this could have been causing some of this mental conflict as well. But this could be stemming from a marriage or a past lover or a past friend, family member, someone causing or trying to cause a lot of mental conflict within your life online, okay? Or just stalking you or researching you all the time. And then we have the tower here. So it looks like the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now the Ten of Swords upright is like... Uh, I don't really want to be here anymore. Like that's some, some heavy, heavy mental conflict. That's like anguish. That's depression. That's not sleeping at night. That's like, yeah. And it looks like this mental anguish was caused by some, some secrets coming out. Okay. I don't think this is you. I think we're picking up on someone else's energy, which is why I'm going to use my other tarot. But it looks like some secrets came out that's causing someone to have a tower moment. And it's like, everybody knows when you have a tower moment, it's like a very quick um, things falling apart around you uh, or a quick realization of something you don't have any control over. Okay. It's just things are just crumbling. Um, it could be good. Well, most of the, but I'll say this. It is good regardless of how horrible it looks because something, there was a foundation that was faulty, that was shaky, that needed to fall apart. And so spirit intervened because it was not falling apart and people were trying to just tuck stuff away and hide things. And now these things are coming to the, to the forefront. Like they're not allowed to be hidden anymore. And it's causing someone to have heavy mental conflict. Okay. So this in the reverse, it's like this person is losing strength up with all this conflict going on around them caused by this tire moment due to these secrets, okay, being exposed. Now, we have the four of wands, which is foundation and achievement in my, my um, psychic tarot deck, okay? So, it looks like after a period of this lack you were going through emotionally, feeling like you didn't have enough, you know what I mean? Um, you're moving towards calmer waters with this six of swords okay you're having more peace and it's like a spirit is guiding you to, to a more peaceful lifestyle and this is the justice you are receiving for whatever happened here and we're going to figure out what that is but this is justice for everything you've been put through okay now it looks like you may have been indecisive about walking away from this but since you have made a decision these this person or these people are receiving karma okay this is judgment in reverse so this is also what could be causing this tire moment for this other person's energy or these people's energy these secrets are coming out in this karma this is a part of their karma okay so since we're already this is a heavy karmic reading i'm going to use the deck i created spirit um, I channeled um, some messages from Spirit on Friday, like they came in heavy. So I went ahead and made a deck just so I could write down all these messages that were coming through. Um, so we're going to use this deck that I created and see what Spirit has to say about this karmic energy that's coming in, okay? 
Um, let me just go ahead and try to see if I can shuffle. Are there any messages you have for me on this karmic energy? Any messages you have for me on this karmic energy, please? Any messages you have on this karmic energy spirit? Okay. Any messages you have on this karmic energy spirit? Oh, Ooh, the whole deck tried to fall out. We don't want that. Okay, spirit, one more, please. Okay, thank you, spirit. All right, so let's see what we got. Oof. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but this says I envy you. Okay. So I'm going to sit that right there. My car broke down. Okay, this is getting very specific. All right. Um, losing sleep. Okay, this goes back to what we see here. Okay, you see this tower card? This ten of swords in reverse. This person is going through it. I don't know what they did to you, but spirit is upset. Okay, um, everybody's situation is different, but this person is really suffering right now. I don't wish this on anyone. I pray for everyone, even the people that hurt me, and I really don't want anybody to be hurt right now, but you know, we all, when we when we make poor decisions, okay, these things do come back to us, and we have to answer for the things we do to other people, okay? Now, I don't have any, there is not any love here, but I do want to see if this could possibly be somebody's partner um, that did this. So I do, I did create a little tarot. I'm just going to pull a few cards if possible, if anything comes out. If not, I'm just going to get a couple messages from Spirit and I'm going to close this out. Okay, Spirit, do you have any messages? Is this, is this someone's partner, Spirit? Or is this, oh, this is trying to come out. Spirit, is this someone's partner that's doing this? Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so this possibly could be a Pisces. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. <clears throat> Put stuff together, okay. Oh, I'm a Leo. There you go. I'm <laughs> a Leo. It could be a Gemini. Okay. And then it says, move in with me. Oh, goodness. So we have a mix of energy here. So this could have been someone that was trying to control you or have control of the situation they're not wanting to release you or let you go and now they're wanting you to come back <laughs> i'll let you use your intuition on that be careful um, allowing the wrong people back into your energy um i'm going to do a couple more messages from spirit okay Any guidance you have for the collective at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Can you get one more, please, Spirit? chakra okay so someone needs some more healing okay sacral chakra is like that chakra that is um around our emotions okay i think i talked about this in the previous reading um if you are having any uh if you experienced any heartache any emotional trauma it doesn't have to stem from your childhood it could be from a relationship a broken friendship anything that you've been through poverty or anything that can cause you to experience any type of emotional trauma this is going to require you to do some healing okay you can do um different things with your sacral chakra you can meditate you can pray you can um take a spiritual bath um i have tools as well like if you need tips on what you can start working on just to get you started you can always email me um my link is going to be in the description so if you do have any questions i am not going to charge you to get your healing started if you just have a question like what do I do um, just to start this healing process and work, begin working through this? I will help you as best I can, okay? So if you can um, just send me an email. You should be able to find my email in the link uh, whenever I put it in the description. Um, but that is all I have for today. I believe that is plenty. Um, 
maybe this is why spirit needed me to make these for you guys but um more to come on my decks okay because i am going to print them and i hope that you all are able to utilize them in the future so enjoy the rest of your sunday and i hope you all have a very blessed evening bye